hi guys welcome back now let's continue uh, from where we have left in the part one okay so uh, the next part is let ha huh, any charts that is you know like getting used there so it will also have you know like a new functionality has been introduced there that is called as download png you can download the uh, you can say like a uh, the image of this chart for example if i click on download i don't you don't have to do any configuration just a checkbox is there and see a chart will get downloaded okay and this obviously this labels doesn't show but uh, this basic chart image is there okay so one functionality is like this one here okay so now let's uh, move on to our next page that is one uh, improvement has been done on the site do we have any site here let me just go on to the site and let me just put it here open a site here and we will check so this is you know like a kind of site that we have you know like initially uh, created so what has you know like a new changes there in the site like you can also add the layout as a sidebar here okay see now it will look something like this one here which is much better sidebar configuration has also been added for the site here and see here i am able to check something like this okay and the profile icon has gone below that's great and in here the site navigation has come up here and from here we can add any uh, we can see the form so by default configuration has been made for the site and it looks good see here okay it looks great nice feature has been added and after that you know like you can one more thing i can, i have noticed here is that something like typefaces if you want to you know like change the uh, change the see typeface is what like how is your text looking for example ariel is there times new roman is there so like this you know like we can also change the text of our inter uh, interfaces in the sites so like this we can also configure that part as well from here so that and that is there okay the next important part that has come up in the site is that now you can even add the page which has the rule inputs okay which has any rule input that can also be added at all in the initially what we used to do we used to do a lot of you know like uh, we used to create parent interfaces then add it because see if this interface i want to add as a site i won't be able to do because it has two two rule inputs okay so but now i can add this as well let me just click on this one here and go in the site and add it here so i will write here okay uh, new features something like this i have something like this i have done here and the interfaces here okay and see here this has a rule input so it will show the rule input here ha huh? but see be aware not all the rule input it supports it supports only the rule input see if i make any rule input here not this one here okay hmm. if i make any rule input of let's say record type here okay for example vof vof customer so vof customer is there and then vof uh, let me select this is a record type rule input what if i add a record type rule input and save my changes here so i have saved my changes so i have added a record type rule input here i will go in my site okay i will remove this page here okay it will get removed and once again i will try to add new features this interface and see what happens still we have added a record type rule input but that is not supported only the primitive data type that are supported here like a boolean text field number integer decimal all these fields are supported if you want a particular customer id you can also you know like add a particular customer id here okay for example any customer id we want see here uh, let's you know like let's first just click on add and check once like how our site used to look like and it will say like it has a rule input configurations okay now let me just refresh our site once and let's check it once see a new features this is the site here it's showing perfectly fine and in the customers i'm able to get five what i will do here is that uh, you know like this ri bank here is there so what i will do here is that i will add here value should be ri bank customer id that's it okay so this is the customer id it is five okay and 
here I have kept it 5 but uh, in the site what I will give I can also define some values so here we can give a value like customer ID should not be null it will be 11 here so it should show you know like less than till 11 values it should show click on done and click on save changes that's it and now let's try to refresh my site and in the new features I should be able to see more and more customers here see here I am able to see till 1 to 11 so all these different values I am able to see on my site here okay so this is about the site and if you uh, so this was about this one site here and we can also generate the URL of the site as well a new feature has also been introduced let me see here. as of now what domains we are aware about the different domains that a bang is like we used for system constants record type rule translation is added and site is added here so site feature directly you can uh, you know like add any site as well for example I want to call my site here site bang ys okay and then ys site secret I am able to call my site see here it, a new object type that is site is showing here okay and if I want to generate a URL for this site that I also I can do it see here URL for site a new feature is there URL for site is and now here we have to write like site page which site page see it is saying site page it doesn't want the site it want like which page URL you want so new features URL I want just like record type you know like it is we can dif different pages we can get for the size here and URL parameters how we can write the URL parameters it accepts a map data type okay great map then we will write it here what is the name of our rule input that we have added customer ID okay great so I will write here where is the rule input yeah customer ID this is one and I just want to give three if you click on this one it will generate a URL and see URL is a bit pretty much big URL because you know like it is encrypted what happens that in the site what they have seen like if they don't want to see like a uh, see here they have encrypt URL if you don't want to encrypt you know like it will just show as a plain text so for security and not exposing any sensitive data we can encrypt the URL as well very uh, uh, good feature here okay if see if I, I have removed the encryption so uh, what the following you help and don't have enable in URLs turned on oh enable in URL is not turned on there is another feature when you turn off the encrypt URL you have to enable that yeah this feature I want to access in my uh, URL for site then only it will be accessible here click on test tool once again and see this particular URL you will get let me just copy it and paste it what I will see here for customer ID 3 I have passed here see here only 1 2 and 3 value we are able to get but when we have passed this one 11 value was there and now only 3 values is there what if I try to refresh the page see as long as this customer ID 3 is there it will only show you know, like 1 2 and 3 value only it's not going to show all the values so we can generate the custom URL for the site based on uh, with the help of this URL for site parameters okay and uh, there are a lot of other features uh, in the read only grid as well uh, there are features here so let's try to check that once read only grid so this is going to be a where should we should put it let's put it down here okay this is our read only grid so in read only grid what has come what has new come here is that in the data when we use a record data okay when we use a record data here then we can see you know like the record type are present here so let's say like I am using VOF uh, customer okay initially I can add just filters here but now I can also add fields like what are the fields here it means that you have more control on the grid it will only query the uh, required data only not all the data will get query so selection has also been added introduced in the read only uh, field as well okay so which is uh, very good here so what we will do here is that uh, uh, let me just uh, go in design mode because you know, like I would have to prepare everything from scratch it's much better if we put it here let's put it VOF address so here if you see here all the data will show okay 
see here all the data city state zip and everything is showing here what I will do here is fields parameter has been added here right so in the record type I can go here and I can choose like what fields to show so here you can see you know like uh, the uh, different data type has been added so here we can use the record data okay in order to uh, access the new features here so I will use the record data here okay and this is my record type that is used here okay and then I can add the fields here what are the different fields we want so for example it is an address here so view of address dot uh, I want the city I just need the city here then let's see what will happen see every every other data has been uh, has been you know like uh, no other data is showing because why it is just querying the city data only so you know like it means that you will we will have more control over the data and it will be much more efficient to query as well only that particular field if you want to query similarly if i give you know like uh, apart from the city i will also give something let's say like a state so it will only query the data for for uh, the city and the state here so uh, more for control is provided here for this one here okay and other fields that we can you know, like one more feature has been come here like let's say label position you are writing so see here any text field I, okay as long as the values are text here you will be able to get the uh, you know, like recommendations here like what level position you want so that we don't even every time we don't have to you know like uh, go in the documentation below and select from that we can directly choose from here only okay it, it works only for the uh, it doesn't work for all the values it just work only for text values okay so if we have number integer or anything boolean for them it does it will not show but for the text value it will show perfectly fine so these are the you know, like some of the new features that has come up here and one other feature has come that is the translation one so this translation one we will have to you know, like uh, we will cover that in a separate part here but that was all for now okay so the basic features about this one we have tried to see uh, okay lastly we are going to check about the database what has been done in the database oh <laughs> if you check even like first inst first impression won't be i i hope first impression won't be very great <laughs> uh, my first impression of this database was not that much good okay but it is looking you know like a uh, previous version was we got more uh, used to the previous version uh, we have to spend some time so that it will we will get used to this ver new version let's try to search any new table here when you try to search any new table it will look something like this I guess they are trying to make it more like kind of Appian kind of interfaces see here they say you know like the blue color of color combination has been used which Appian uses okay accent color so like this they have given hmm, or new functionality is there like the header column header is you know like this row header is fixed here so we at any given point of time we will be able to see the name of the columns here which is a great functionality let's go on to view the other part hmm, see here the button it is like you know like having a primary buttons that we used to see a lot so that is there okay and uh, yeah it looks fine and here I don't know like why they have kept it as white only because it's not visible unless I select it so it's not that much good looking good here ah, see SQL a lot of buttons are there and uh, yeah they are kind of secondary kind of view they are giving here and this is a primary button so like this and check boxes has also been like uh, Appian only like what's it is there so fine we will have to like get uh, used to this new version okay it, it will take some time but we will get used to it okay so that was all about this new features other new features are also there for which we can discuss uh, later on but as of now uh, but as a, but that's all for as of now okay so thank you all